Hi, I'm Paul Whiffin from Atspace, and today's question is, what are the four different types of ventilation? So we have system one. System one is an intermittent extract system that tends to be inside the wet rooms, the WCs, the bathrooms, utility rooms, the kitchens, and it relies on the fan to come on and off with a switch. The house tends to also have background ventilation. They tend to be trickle vents in the windows that can be open and closed. So with the fans in the wet rooms, as well as, as, well as the trickle vents, you create the ventilation for the house. And system two is a passive stack arrangement. So a passive stack that has no mechanical features. It's an open bit of pipe work, basically. And how it pulls air out of the building is by warm air rising, as well as a cross ventilation from outside with the wind. That creates negative pressure and draws air out of the house. System three is a continuous, nearly mechanical ventilation system. And what that does is it tends to have no background ventilation in the house and solely relies on the fans. These are positioned in all rooms in the properties, tend to be in the wet rooms. And how these work is they continuously expel air at a trickle rate, gently taking air out of the room, even when they're not used. The minute they are used, they get boosted, they turn up the ventilation rate and that pulls more air out. So these come in two different types. The two types are either centralized or decentralized. So what does decentralized mean? That means that you fit a fan into that room and it works solely on its entirety on its own. So it expels air from the fan to the exhaust and goes out the wall. A centralized system is where it pulls air out of the room and it goes, it joins up all the network of the ductwork into one centralized point and it has one exhaust coming from that point. Now we have system four, a MVHR system, which stands for mechanical ventilation with heat recovery. It's a bit like system three. It comes in a centralized unit as well as decentralized. The most popular choice is a centralized unit as the heat exchange is much, much bigger. And what the heat exchange basically does is it recycles the warm, smelly, stuffy air and brings the cold, fresh air in and has a heat exchange. So it recycles the warmth. The temperature drops at minimal and this affects three main factors why people have MVHR. One, for home comfort, which is important. Two, it conserves energy, which is super important, as well as saving cost. With system four, air tightness is absolutely paramount. So system four doesn't work effective if we've got uncontrolled leakage within a home. So as it's drawing air out, if you've got air coming in from gaps under the window, it's less effective. It actually starts cooling the house down with the heat exchange. So it's paramount that you get a house that is super airtight with an MVHR system. Thanks for watching. Hopefully they've given you a bit of insight into the four different types of ventilation. If you want to know any more, check out our Knowledge Hub. Do something in the bathrooms. I always get comfortable. First one is Itamat. <laughs> Hi, I'm Paul Whiffin from Atspace, and today's question are... So system one is <laughs> it's like a stage. Electrical ventilation, um, that's wrong. It's continuous mechanical. Four different types. System two is a passive house arrangement. No, it's not a passive house arrangement. It's a passive stack. And obviously that's it, I don't know anything else.